How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech. So Apple has just finished their iPhone 16 event, the It's Glow Time event, but what you probably want to know has to do with iOS 18, right? So when is the actual release date of iOS 18? What are the compatible devices? And of course, Apple intelligence. So when it will be available and compatible devices as well. So let's talk about all that. Let me give you the info you actually want to know. Let's get started. Okay, so first things first, iOS 18 release date, when it will be available to the public. And we already have a date, it will be on September the 16th. So next Monday, a week from now, a week from the recording of this video, it will be available to everyone as an official software, okay? As a public, official, stable version. Finally, no more iOS 18 betas. It's the real deal, okay? Now, compatible devices. Will you be able to install iOS 18 on your iPhone? Well, let me explain you right now. You will need an iPhone SE 2, an iPhone 10R, 10S, and 10S Max, or newer. So from those slightly older models all the way up to the iPhone 16, everyone will be compatible with iOS 18. Now, we have to talk about Apple intelligence because it's a completely different story when we're talking about Apple intelligence. It will be available not now, not on day one, so not next week. It will only be available next month probably towards the end of October, okay? And please keep in mind that it'll be released alongside iOS 18.1. So iOS 18.0 will not have Apple intelligence. So if you buy the iPhone 16, the 16 Plus, the 16 Pro Max, if you buy it and you open it up out of the box, it won't have Apple intelligence because those devices will be running iOS 18.0. So then you have to wait just like everybody else and only next month towards the end of October you will be able to get Apple intelligence like everybody else and please keep in mind that there are some restrictions here so even next month after so many months and so many betas Apple intelligence will be released as a beta and that's kind of weird so let me explain you so next month iOS 18.1 final version but Apple Intelligence will be released as a beta. It will be a beta feature inside an official iOS version. And also, it will only be available with American English. So American English only next month in this very first official release. Now, later in December, we will get Apple Intelligence in other uh, languages. So we'll get it in Australian English, Canadian, New Zealand, South Africa, and also the UK, all right? And we'll have other additional language support next year, like Chinese, French, Japanese, and Spanish, but only next year. So when are we actually gonna get Apple intelligence for real? So completely full with all of its features, with chat GPT integration and image creation and all of that that Apple has been like uh, publicly announcing for so many months, only in a few months. So then, as you can imagine, it will still be a little bit malfunctioning, it will be a little bit buggy for those very first months. So only probably next year, we will have Apple intelligence for good on multiple languages and not on beta anymore, the official release. Oh, and one very important detail, it's not because you're running iOS 18 that you'll actually get Apple intelligence because Apple intelligence is only compatible with a few iPhone models. So it's one list for iOS 18 compatibility that I gave you before and another one for Apple intelligence compatibility. So if you wanna use Apple intelligence on your iPhone, you'll need to have an iPhone 15 Pro or newer. So 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, 16 series, okay? And the whole lineup will get Apple intelligence. So that's literally it. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one as usual. Bye bye guys.